Hey, hey everybody. Thanks for tuning in. This is the Rockville Mini RF4 Lite. And like it says in the name, man, this thing is mini. And that's the main reason I got it. So, you know, the main thing for me is I'm a solo op, you know, when I go out to events, it's just me. There's only so many things that I can carry and I can transport. So I haven't owned any uplighting um, to this point, but when I saw these come out, you know, the form factor, the weight, uh, and the ease of use are things that really attracted me to them. Obviously the Ape Labs have been around for a while, but again, those are kind of out of my budget right now. Um, and so when I saw these, I was really interested. I saw them, you know, actually last year, the both lighting uh, versions that came out, but this new version apparently has some new features in it that I think make it pretty interesting. So uh, I just got them today. I've been testing them out and wanted to share a few things with you guys. Also, huge shout out to DJ Wolf, at DJ Wolf Let's Go. Uh, he probably had the first review about these things on the entire YouTube. Uh, I saw his video on this. He was super helpful, answered a ton of my questions, and that was like probably the main reason I went ahead and ordered these. Definitely check out his video, at DJ Wolf, let's go. This is the soft case that came with the bag. It's kind of nice, it's got like a hard finish. Uh, comes with four RF remotes, four chargers, and you can actually use these for six slots. So if you don't put the chargers and stuff in here, you can actually fit six of these uh, lights in each of them. Now, getting to the light themselves, they're actually smaller than uh, what I expected it to be. It's pretty impressive, super light. I think online it says they're like two pounds. And it just has one button and a charging port on it. The thing that's super impressive about these lights is this remote, and that's the main reason I bought it. Uh, my goal was to use these lights without the need for having a DMX controller or having to like set up a fancy DMX show. And I was hoping that this light would be able to accomplish that for me. Um, I'm gonna go over the specifics a little bit later, what I was able to find out about the actual functionality. But if you notice here, what's really cool about this light and what separates it from the previous generation of, that, uh, of the RF4 is that it actually has four groups here that you can change and assign your lights to. So you could have you know, five of your lights doing one thing and five of your lights doing another thing, up to four groups in that similar fashion, which is really cool. Another cool feature is that they have 32 different colors that you could assign just using this light. Um, some of the other, you know, battery control lights you can get online or on Amazon, it only has like the five or six main colors. This one really allows you to customize your light, um, you know, without needing a DMX controller to really, you know, sort of fine tune the different colors. You can also adjust the brightness in any of the modes, uh, which is a really cool feature, including these four sound modes and then these four um, other modes that basically cycle through the colors, strobe, pulse, fade and color cycle. And then you can adjust the speed of each of these you know, modes and then you can also adjust the sound sensitivity, which is really cool. You can black out all the lights with just that off button. So this remote control really offers you a lot of flexibility to control your lights without the need for setting up a whole show using DMX, which was what my goal was. Now, these lights can only be controlled by this RF remote when they are in the RF mode, which is one of the sort of quirks about it, about it. So basically what you have to do is double tap this, and you can see as soon as this light is solid, that means it can be controlled by the remote. So what I wanna do is go to my remote, change the remote group so it's red, because that's what my uh, light is set to right now, and now I'll be able to control this light with this remote. So let's, let's put it on a single color here, red, all right? I can cycle through different colors like this, pretty cool. I can change it to any mode that I want. Sometimes you just gotta press it, there you go. Strobe mode, pulse mode, etc. cetera. I'm gonna adjust the brightness, let me turn that down a bit. And I'll just set it to a single color for now, turn the brightness down. So, as you can see, pretty good functionality. Now if I wanna change it, if I wanna change this light and any other lights Let's say, let's, let's change them to the green uh, group. Press that once. Now you can see that light turn green. I would then adjust my remote 
to green accordingly. You can see it flash green, and I'll be able to control it with the remote as well. Sometimes it does take a couple clicks on here, so it'll. Uh, that's one thing to look out for when using the remote. You can see as soon as I change it, changing colors, changing mode, fade mode, etc. Now you can also control all the lights at the same time. You just switch this to the white color or the all, and then this remote will control all of the RF4 lights in your group. So as you can see there, sometimes you do have to press the button a few times on here to get it to work, but it does work uh, pretty reliably. Now, one of the main things that I was looking for from a light was, you know, at a wedding, during the dinner time, uh, during the intros, I want to be able to switch from having a static light all around the room to going to like a pulsing or a strobe mode um, with just a click of a button. Um, and it's important for me that all of the lights in the room are doing the same thing because I don't want dif different lights doing different things and just flashing randomly. So um, that was one of the key functionalities I was looking for in these lights. And what I will say, and I'll demonstrate a little bit later as well, but unfortunately the sound modes, the four sound modes, um, the lights do not sync up with each other if you use the sound modes. Even if you have them all in the same grouping um, and everything like that, these sound modes still do not work um, in terms of you know, getting all the lights to do the exact same thing. The reason is, is because each of them will hear the music differently you know, depending on where they're positioned, and they'll all do different things at different times. But if you use one of these four bottom modes, strobe, pulse, fade, or color cycle, as long as when you click the remote, all of them get the uh, signal at the same time, they all will switch to one of these at the same time and switch colors with the same timing and the same color, um, which will kind of give the same effect as like a, a sound mode. It just won't go to the music. But I mean, you can't really even tell most of the time uh, when when the you know sound modes are active on these basic lights. Uh, that's one of the things that Ape Labs does really well. It can really sync up the sound, um, but you know you're also paying uh, you know probably four to five times more per light when you're buying one of those. So for me, the you know having that functionality with the remote and being able to do the pulse fade color cycle is pretty cool and i think it's going to be awesome for most of the applications that i have planned for it now there is a workaround which is the the master slave function in these lights so uh, let me show you how that works um, it kind of uses a dmx channel to uh, create a master slave uh, setup for this light and all the other lights that come with it so i'll be right back so I've got three of my eight lights here, uh, just to give you guys an idea of how everything works with this remote and with the master slave function. So the first thing you need to do is turn the lights on. All right, just one press, one press, one press. As you can see, so one of the lights that I got, the power switch is actually defective. So I'm gonna have to reach out to Rockwell about that. But that's just an FYI to all of you guys. When you're ordering these lights, it's always best to have some sort of a company that you can trust. Cause you know, these are all made in China. I think they're all made by the same suppliers most of the time. So this specific light, I actually marked it. Um, it's power switch uh, doesn't register every time. So here, let me see if I can turn it off. There we go. I can turn it off, but to do the double taps and stuff, it doesn't work. So let me, let me bring another light to replace this. All right, so now I got another light to replace that defective one. All of the lights here are in the green mode, and I just chose that one, you know, just because. Now, when this color is solid, that means they're all in the RF uh, remote mode right now. So I can change, if I press the button, they'll all turn red. Now let's go to a white. Yeah, I gotta click it a second time, but it works. UV, green. So those are how the solid colors work. Now, I wanna explain uh, the sound mode, right? So let's, let's pick one of the sound modes. You can already see one of the lights shut off. They're, you can see they're all doing different things here. One of them is strobing. View another sound mode here. So all the lights are doing something different in the sound mode, which Ideally isn't what I was looking for because you know imagine on a dance floor all the lights are just gonna be You know looking like just doing random stuff doesn't look coordinated at all. I'm not a fan of that now 
if I pick one of these four bottom modes, look, let's do pulse. Now you can see they're all switching at the same time, same colors, and this would create a pretty cool effect for a dance floor. Same thing with a fade. All switch at the same time, they're fading in and out. Color cycle, they're all going through the same colors at the same time. So, you know, as long as they all get the signal at the same time, they'll all switch at the same time, which is awesome. Now let's go over and do the wireless DMX slash master slave. I don't have any uh, DMX controller to show you guys actual wireless DMX settings, but let me show you master slave here. So you can, you can set a master for each of the color groups. You can set a different one for red, green, uh, yellow, blue. And apparently they say that you can use those uh, wireless DMX colors as well. They're the same thing. I can't test that. Again, um, I would love to know if somebody else could test that to know that if these run on any other uh, wireless DMX channels than that red one. So basically what you have to do is if you want to use master slave mode, you have to set the light to whatever function you want to replicate before you turn it into master slave mode. So uh, what I'm gonna do, right, is I'm gonna make this light my master light and these two my slaves. So to turn these into slave mode, I have to double tap once and then double tap again. And when this light is flashing twice fast, that means it's in slave mode. So same thing here, gonna double tap once and double tap again. So now both of these lights are in slave mode and this one's gonna be a master light. So I wanna first, while it's in RF mode, tell it what I want to do, want it to do in master mode. So I wanna, let's say I wanna go to sound mode number two. Who knows what that actually does. So I've set this light now to sound mode two. And now that it's in sound mode two, I can turn it into the master and it'll start sending signal. So I double tap, this button twice. Didn't work, try again. And now you can see, I turned this into the master. It's doing a single uh, flash here. And all the lights are doing the same thing, even though this is a sound mode. Large caveat to the master slave mode is when it's in master slave, this remote no longer works. So if I wanted to go out, get this out of master slave mode. See, it's working pretty well. But if I wanted to get this out of master slave mode, I would have to, you know, double tap, double tap. Now it's in RF mode. And now I can um, reset it to whatever I want it to do. So let's say I, now I want to switch to a solid color. Uh, let's go to white. I have to switch the color like that. And now I have to set it to master mode again and all the other lights will do the same thing. What I think this means for how it would look in a gig is basically either you're gonna be using your lights in the remote mode or you're gonna be using it in the master slave mode. Uh, the problem is you have to set all your lights to the master slave mode before you go out uh, and, and set them up. Otherwise, you know, if you wanna turn them all back to remote mode and get them working with the remote, you gotta go around and switch all the rest of them back to the RF remote mode as well. So. Um, you know, that's why I feel like I'll probably be avoiding the sound modes just because I don't think it's worth doing master slave just to get that, you know, sound functionality when all these pulse fade color cycles, you know, sync, all the lights are synchronized and I still get the flexibility of using the remote, uh, for all the lights. Now I want to take them off slave mode. Let's put everything back onto remote mode. Just double tap once, double tap. And let's turn this master light back to remote mode. There we go. Now everybody's back on remote mode and I can go ahead and set them all to, uh, you know, just a standard color. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn these off now. And, you know, just to summarize, um, so for me, the two main things that I'm looking for is one, this uh, sync ability, I call it. Um, so that's the ability for all the lights to sync up together um, as easily as possible, you know, ideally without using wireless DMX. I think these do accomplish that for solid colors and then for these pulse fade color cycle mode. Um, I don't feel like I really need the sound active mode, um, but uh, you know, that's definitely one of the drawbacks is that when you're in master slave mode, you're really limited in what you can do with the lights um, and you can really only control the master by switching back to that 
RF remote mode and then going back into the master mode. Um, the other thing that I need to test and I haven't really been able to test that well in my house is the range on these. So apparently you're supposed to get 50 to 100 feet range, but what I'm, what I'm uh, hoping is that, you know, when I'm in a room, I can just press the button and all of my lights, even in a large hall, will receive the signal. Um, the cool thing is, is I can move around with the remote, you know, if I need to and go to different spots. Um, but you know, I really, I can't comment on that yet. Um, and then the other thing is similarly, the master slave mode, um, how much range am I going to be getting with those? You know, I think that those are the two sort of distinguishing, uh, factors for me, the sync ability and the range, which I need to test the range next. Hopefully I'll be able to upload a separate video for that. If you guys have any questions about these lights, please drop them in the comments. Um, they're really impressive for the price, uh, you know, that's, that's sort of the main thing. And um, looking forward to getting them out there and using them in some real shows and seeing how they actually do. Alright, thank you so much you guys for tuning in and I hope that was helpful.